what's up guys? This is Aaron from the Giggle Master Titan Place. And we are continuing with our Hearts Gold walkthrough. Part 11. Yes, it's more than 10, I think. Okay, so I cut the battle there because it wasn't really exciting and I forgot to turn on the battle scenes. Only for that one, okay? Okay? I, I, then I'm like, no, this is it. We are, we are doing battle scenes. So, I skipped the battle, but Fluff and Fluff Muffin evolved into Ampharos, noob. And that's sweet. I'm like, finally it evolved because it's been like in the daycare and it finally got some, you know, got a life and then evolved. So, I'm happy. So, we go and got a white apricorn or a, a, a whit, a whit, a whit apricorn. And, uh, we go grab this item here, and it's a max potion because it rocks my socks. And we go down, and we're gonna go battle some people. And I love uh, Ampharos; it looks so cute when it runs around like that. Uh, it's awesome. And so we battle some people there, skip them, but let's go ahead and let's battle this nerd. He kind of looks like me, doesn't he? Uh, sorta. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hitman's it's, Hitman's listening right now. He's like, yes, it does. And speaking of people. Dark Latios, uh, or Jesse, he broke his TV today, which really sucks, and he's gonna be, uh, you know, out of commission for a while because he's finishing school and, you know, he just thought, you know, uh, he'll wait over the summer or in, maybe come back in the summer or fall. Not sure, but he's not gone, guys. He's, he's still gonna be on YouTube, he's just not gonna be uploading for a while. But that's okay, we'll, Hitman and I, we, we got it covered, you guys are good. We got we got your summer stuff. Well, actually, Hitman's gonna be gone over the summer, so I'll hold on. I will hold out. <laughs> I will not. I will not give up. Never surrender. Never quit. Never back down. That's my motto. Not really. That's that wouldn't be a very good model. It's too long. Anyway, so I get this nerd's phone number, and so he can tell me like when he fails to catch a Rattata or some crap like that, like they always do. So they always feel a need to tell me like insignificant things. I guess they have boring lives. I mean, they are all convicts and like. Whatever. Anyway, so this this guy, he's like, hey, what's up? Uh, he's like, uh, he's like, uh, how about I register your phone number? I'm like, Gramps, do you even know like, how, you don't even know what that is? Like, are you sure you're not like, think you're still a nom and I'm general, whatever? So okay, uh, we found another acorn tree and it just spit this thing out. This thing that'd be a little dangerous. Like little children go up to a tree, they're like, "Mommy, I want that one." It's like okay, and it just shoots. It just like fires like a cannon. This little, this giant fruit, bigger than your head, and it like smashes you right in the noggin. Anyway, so we are at the uh, the farm, and they're like, "Uh, where uh." I'm not southern because I'm, okay, contrary to uh, what most people think, not all Americans ride on uh, horses, we're not cowboys, and we actually do other things, but, uh, uh, yeah, but uh, but these guys are uh, American farmers living in Japan, because that's where this game takes place, <laughs> I'm just kidding, so Mumu is sick, she needs lots of orange berry, so I start, okay, I'm like, here's a berry. I'm like enjoy. Okay, you're he you're healthy. No. Nope. Okay, I'll, I'll just give you another one. I got I got plenty. I got you covered. And so I'm like, okay, it's what? It's still sick. I'm like, I don't I don't think I'm really helping it by just like shoving all this food in its mouth. If it has an upset stomach, I think the best thing to do is go go to Costco, get some saltines, get some Sprite, go home and watch reruns of your favorite primetime show. Now that is what I usually do, but uh, I guess these people. Uh, uh, you know they don't they don't have a TV so uh, we're just gonna run away <laughs> we're just gonna run away or they they don't even they don't like saltines so boom we are in a battle and this sailor sailor Eugene Taylor and uh, he comes out and uh, uses his poly world and I have my Dratini and I'm like okay that's cool and there's Dragon Rage I thought that move looked really cool I'm like whoa dude it's like it's like uh, throwing up like rainbow purple sparks. I thought that was kind of cool. And so this is like, this is like, he's like, where's my money? He's like, where's my money? He's like, where's my money? He just slapped me three times. It's like, that's, 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 that's just that. I'm like, I'm like, girlfriend, that is rude. That is just rude. So we take out, uh, Polyworld to lunch, obviously, and we made up. And so they send out their Raticate. And Raticate looks cool in this game. This is like one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. Uh, it's cooler than awesome. And uh, so this dragon rage just rips this thing apart, but it barely hangs on. And he used pursuit for some reason. Thought it was gonna switch, but I'm like, no, like that. I mean, you're a giant rat. 
I mean, sure, you're, you may be a little bit annoying, and uh, I may not be able to afford a rap, uh, mouse trap to kill you, but I can kill you with dragons. It, it's it's certified. I have a certificate. You want me to let me, let me let me get it out? Oh, actually, I burned it. So uh, I use Dragon Rage on the Krabby, and he's probably Krabby now. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. So uh, I I defeated the uh, I'm a player. And I defeated them. I defeated a sailor. So I don't know. You can interpret that however you like. So we are battling uh, a Poke fan. They're like, "Is it okay if I brag about my Pokemon?" I, I'm like 32. I'm bald, and I have a kid riding on my back. But I, I love my. I love. I still love my Pokemon right now. Uh, I care more about than my son. So uh, yeah. So let's battle. So I use Aqua Tail and uh, uh, send his uh, any hopes or dreams he had uh, right to the graveyard and inflict 500 life points uh, direct damage. So uh, he can't brag because uh, he just he just got humiliated. I mean he like crawl he's crawling around in the dirt bragging about his Pokemon while his uh, his son rides on his back dressed as a, a, a Pichu or a Pikachu. I don't, I can't tell, but that is uh, some some pretty twisted stuff. So uh, you know. This this old this this hag she looks like a hag uh, is like uh, something and something something and she's like I don't know just playing with her dolls and stuff I'm like I I'm like personally I outgrew my Barbies like at five so I mean come on seriously guys if if I can if I can get over it, I'm just kidding I, well well you don't know that but uh, but I hope you uh, realize that I am kidding <laughs> Hitman's like I do so. We take out that guy, or no, that woman. I, I usually call guys girls, anyways, or girls guys, because uh, because I'm a lady. So, uh, Tratini is evolving. It's like, dun, 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 boom, 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 boom. Okay, so Dratini evolves into a dragonair. It's very magical and stuff. So I'm happy. I'm like that. That's sweet. That's like halfway to a Dragonite kind of, except not really. So checking out its stats and stuff. I just wanted to see its ability. It has shed skin. I'm like, oh, that's handy because I have a uh, paralysis right now. So uh, I'm gonna go to the hospital and hope that uh, it can feel its legs again, even though it, has, it doesn't have any. So we reach Olivine City, probably my favorite city in this game, just because it's right by the sea and it's the lighthouse. And oh my gosh, this bub just comes out of the the gym. I'm like, oh my gosh, you bub. He's like, you again? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to give you some free experience and be totally defeated like last time. I'm just going to I'm just gonna run because I'm a noob. Yeah, that guy reminds me of Paul from the, the anime. It, just, it seems like he's exactly the same except he dyed his hair red because he's a rebellious child. And so we run inside this first house here and we're like, what's up, dude? Uh, give me some stuff. And I was like, yes, I would like to face the sea. And I'm like, uh, okay. I'm like, cool. So I get a good rod there, and that's where you can get yours too, for the price of $19.99. So order now. See you guys next time.